Salutations, gentle viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am on Grosvenor Square in London. Behind me is the former site of the United States Embassy. So the United States had diplomatic relations uh, with the United Kingdom since 1783, just after the signing of the uh, Treaty of Paris. Um, and uh, John Adams was uh, the first ambassador here, um, though not exactly on this site, but they often say minister rather than ambassador to the Court of St. James, because the Court of St. James, that is the official residence of the British monarch, not Buckingham Palace, despite it being much larger. So the embassy was in various locations, and um, from 1938 onwards, the US ambassador lived on Grosvenor Square, not on the west side. Anyway, the, the current, the embassy building you see here was opened in 1960. It was uh, affectionately called Eisenhower Platz for some years uh, before that. And mainly this is the, the chancery building with documents, visas, and so on. And they owned a few of the minor buildings in a lane behind that you can't see from this angle. Way up high in the middle is an enormous American Eagle. There's the flagpole now empty. They used to be the flags of all 50 states um, down at ground level. And um, since about 2002, there were these anti-terrorist gates and bollards, so you couldn't ram a car packed with explosives in there. There were armed police patrolling 24-7. So they were on Grosvenor Square. It's named after the Grosvenor family, which owned the land. It's spelt like Grosvenor, but pronounced Grosvenor. They came over from Normandy with William the Conqueror in 1066, and their surname, Grosvenor, means big hunter in uh, Norman French. So this is the largest square in London. And the Grosvenor family owned a lot of land in what was then the county of Middlesex, which was open countryside until the 18th century. The policy of the Grosvenor family is that they never, ever sell. They'll lease land out, but they won't actually sell it, uh, including the US uh, embassy. So the US government prefers to buy outright the land where the embassy is. In this case, they didn't manage to. February 2018, the US embassy moved south of the River Thames to a new site uh, around Nine Elms. President Trump was supposed to come and open that, but then he changed his mind at the last minute. Uh, so this is now being converted into a hotel. Lots of very significant things have happened in this square. Over here is um, the uh, hotel well where Alexander Litvinenko had a, had a nice cuppa and um, then fell ill for no particular reason, completely unconnected with uh, what he just drank there. So um, the square was laid out in 1720 um, and uh, Mr. Grosvenor decided this would happen and his family became enormously wealthy from owning such land and renting out these prime properties. After the First World War, the Grosvenor family, they donated a lot of money to pay off the war debt and they were in, ennobled well. They already had a noble title, like Lord Belgrave. They were then given the, the title the Duke of Westminster. So Duke is the highest title under the royal family. We know they're kings, queens, princes and princesses, but just below the royal family there are dukes. There are only about 20 dukes in the whole of the United Kingdom. There's some royal dukes, take Prince William. He's Prince, Prince William and he's Duke of Cambridge. One person can have more than one title. Or well, there's Prince Harry, he's also the Duke of Sussex, right? So they're royal dukes and they're non-royal dukes, like the Duke of Westminster is. The current Duke of Westminster, he's only about 30 years old. So yes, his surname is Grosvenor, but his title is Duke of Westminster. So you see, you see a little 9-11 memor memorial to the 67 Britishers who were killed in that attack. And over here, I'll do, do these things in more detail some other time. In that corner, you'll see a plaque, and that's where Adlai Stevenson, the renowned Democratic Party politician, he died of a heart attack on a trip to London in the early 1960s. Man who twice stood for the President of the United States. He sought the Democratic nomination one last time, and uh, one of his... Um, uh, allies gave a very impassioned oration, do not reject this man. But the Democratic Party did reject this man. There we are. Um, so uh, John Adams used to live on this square. If you've read uh, the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, that fictional character, Dorian Gray, lives here. A man of, um, how do, it looks like a bit of an Adonis, Dorian, as in he's a gift. That's what his name means in ancient Greek. The person who grows uglier and uglier, the more wickedry he commits. There's a statue of Franklin Delano Roosevelt there. Now, if they weren't doing all that construction work, they didn't have those um, wooden hoardings behind them, we could visit the statue of Ronald Reagan and indeed of uh, President Eisenhower. So the United Kingdom is perhaps unique in having so many president's uh, statues here, American president statues here. I don't think uh, that the United States repays the compliment in having statues of British monarchs and prime ministers. That's all from me.